Okay, let's find the equation of the inverse of this exponential function. The first thing we need to do is interchange x and y. So instead of having y here, we have x. Instead of having x here, we, we replace it with y. Okay, now what we need to do is get this exponential portion on the side by itself. We begin by subtracting 7 from both sides. Next, we need to divide both sides by 5. Okay, now that we have the exponential portion on the side by itself, we're ready to get the 3y minus 4 out of the exponent. We do this by taking the logarithm of both sides. The base that we use is the same base of the, as the exponential portion, so we should be taking the log of base 6, log base 6 of both sides. So we have log base 6 of x minus 7 over 5 equals log base 6 of 6 to the 3y minus 4. Now because of the inverse properties, log base 6 of 6 to the 3y minus 4 is just equal to 3y minus 4. Okay, so now we can continue to isolate the y by adding 4 to both sides. And the last step we need to do is divide both sides by 3. So the inverse of the exponential function y equals 5 times 6 to the 3x minus 4 plus 7 is y equals log base 6 of x minus 7 over 5 plus 4 all divided by 3.